a good competitive game. Two teams kind of fighting for their, their lives here at the end of the year. Um, thought both teams, uh, all the kids out there really competed. Uh, I was proud of our guys for you know, finding a way to continue to fight on the road, which we've done you know, pretty much all year. We've had some success, and you know, tonight was pretty resembling of the game we played against them in Stillwater. In fact, I think it's the exact same score. Uh, almost the exact same ended except, you know, split and they won. Uh, we didn't, so obviously disappointed that we didn't win, but another great game in college basketball, certainly in the Big 12. Mike, what did you think when it was obvious when football wasn't coming back? Um, I really didn't think much of it at all, to be honest. Um, those dudes have a staple of really good players over there. Um, so, you know, they could throw in Sims, who's going to be really, 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 really good um, you know, in, the, in the not too distant future. And, and gave us some issues today even um, just shows you the type of you know job that shock has done you know um, I want to say increasing the level of talent because they've always had a lot of talent but continuing to recruit high level guys that you know when you got a guy who will likely be um, a top five pick those that you can still find a way to sustain it and overcome you know a, a stretch of not great play and, and find a way to win a game there in the middle, kind of similar to the Texas Tech game, you guys were able to go on a lengthy run, build a lead. What what was working for you guys during that stretch? Uh, our defense. Our defense was, was very solid. Uh, we were contesting a lot of shots and getting our hands secure on some rebounds, uh, which gave us a chance to run, get out in transition. And that was no secret. Uh, we're our best when we're in transition. We didn't get a ton of easy baskets in the first half, and that was a, a big problem for us. And I'm sure that was a big part of their game plan, but we, we were a little bit more um, discipline in that regard to start the second half, and that's how we got the lead. Still without consecutive Big 12 wins, this one a little more competitive than some of the ones before it. Is, is that at least a bright spot in any way? Um, listen, I'm, I'm proud of my team, man. This, uh, this, this stuff's hard. <laughs> I, don't, I don't ever go into a game expecting to win just because we won the one before. I look at each of them totally individually, um, and they're a really, really good team. You know, the team I could see getting into the tournament, making a deep run, and I don't, I don't know if anybody would be surprised by that. When you look at the roster and the type of people they have, uh, so sure, in a lot of ways, I'm disappointed we haven't figured out how to put it together on back-to-back -back games and finish. Uh, but I also have a great understanding of it's not easy to do that. Um, you know, every team this time of time of year is, is fighting for a lot, and I hope that my team has a lot more basketball to play. You talk. Uh, after the Texas Tech game, about a four-game season. Now, does that become a two-game season? No, I mean we're still in it. I mean we're one and one now. Um, we go to another place that's always been a really good environment to play, uh, and they're not having a year that they've had the last four or five years. But they got really talented guys on their roster too, and their coach does a really good job. So, um, you know, it's not a, another reset. I mean, can't do that every week. Right? Uh, we try to finish the next next game. Try to be two and one, and uh, we'll go from there. For Kendall, guy who started one for nine and then made the two big shots at the end, just him consistently late in games coming on for you guys, how big has that been? It's been huge. Uh, you obviously see us a lot. He's, he embraces those moments and those opportunities to, to make one in plays. Uh, and no one's more disappointed that we lost than he was. I'm sure he feels some responsibility. But, you know, what I've got to do is I've got to help my team. We went to a wall when they went zone. Um, and, and I've got to be able to help them more to, you know, get better looks. We settled for a lot of jump shots there. Uh, that's on me. Lindy, you mentioned it after the Texas Tech game. Coming on as a shooter, has something changed for him, you think? Uh, I don't know if anything's changed except that he has continued to work. You know, I've said it time and time again, good shooters sometimes don't make shots, and that doesn't mean they should stop taking them. they got to continue to work every day in practice, and over the course of time, the true percentages usually will you know, pan out the way you think. So um, I don't think it's been anything different for him. You know, he's been able to stay confident through his struggles, uh, which is a testament to his his work ethic and to my assistant coaches who continue to work with him. Uh, and I think that's the whole reason that he's been able to overcome it.